You know, Activision has been in business a long time. They have made quite a few great games, as well as a bunch of bad ones. They are also at least partially responsible for how game developers are treated nowadays. But, they may be one of the worst offenders for yearly sequels, second only to EA. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at the bright side of the Call of Duty series. So I feel like most of us would agree that once Infinity Ward left, the series started going downhill. When they were around, the games felt like they had a lot of effort and thought put into the design, and even though Treyarch continue to make okay games, they don't have the same impact the Modern Warfare games had. Every year we get another Call of Duty, and sometimes it's very evident how rushed the game is. Other times it's evident how safe the developers are playing it to release on time. The constant release schedule has caused the series to become an empty shell of what it once was. But you know, this series isn't all bad, so let's try to brighten it up a bit. And let's start it off with how the games can actually be pretty fun to play. Even if they have gotten really stale by now, the games themselves are still pretty fun to play every now and again. Up next is how the series as a whole has gotten a lot more people into gaming, in addition to providing a game that's easy to just pick up and play with some buddies when you have a bit of free time giving a more realistic counterpart to Halo for people that don't like sci-fi. And lastly, all that money Activision makes from Call of Duty allows them to keep funding High Moon projects. Seriously, roll credits. We're done here! <laughs> well, that's all for now, guys. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And if you want to talk about these games more or have any other games you'd like brightened up, feel free to leave a comment in the sections below. And until next time, Keep gaming.